As firefighters prepared for the climb to the top of this building, a solemn reminder of the reason why they're doing it. The loss of nearly 3,000 people, including 343 first responders in the 9-11 terrorist attacks. It was our first responders who ran to Challenge. Many of these firefighters were little kids when the planes hit the World Trade Center in New York. Zach Thompson and Nolan Lynch, both 25 years old, barely remember it. I think I was four when it happened. I just remember my dad telling me when I came home. I think I was in kindergarten at the time. But now that they're grown men and firefighters, they want to make sure no one ever forgets. We do this to not only you know raise awareness, but to commemorate everyone's lives that were lost that day, especially the first responders. West Palm Beach Fire Chief Diana Maddy says that's the whole point. A majority of our fire department wasn't on the job when 9-11 happened, so they don't know those emotions from that day. They were children or, or not even born. So the fact that so many of them are out here to remember, to, to memorialize an event that occurred before they were even born, it just shows that when we say we'll never forget, we really mean it. And so, along with their fellow firefighters and some police officers, they headed up and down the stairs five times to symbolize the height of the Twin Towers. Many of those making the climb wore full gear, as their counterparts did on that terrible day. Some were joined by friends and relatives, children matching them step by step. Who's your walking partner? Who are you with? Everybody. And even babies like this little guy. The first few rounds relatively easy, but later many stopped to rest and rehydrate at the top before ringing the bell and heading right back down again for yet another circuit. You're done? No. Then finally, they were finished. How did it feel? Amazing. Let's go. You were set. This is Cheryl Kahn reporting for WPB-TV.